whitey tidies, boxers, briefs, thongs, and underoos. Mankind's fascination with undergarments really all comes down to personal preference. But for actor Ed Ackerman, a childhood choice in underwear led to him seeing little things in surprising technicolor. What is that? So the year was 1986, it was Christmas, and for once in a long while, my parents actually gave me a good Christmas. Uh, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I come from a blue collar family, and there were some Christmases that were better than others. Most of them weren't very cool, but this one in 1986 was awesome. I had toys, I had G.I. Joe figures, mask men, uh, clothes, and I know this sounds weird, but one of the coolest things I got, and you're never gonna hear this again from any kid especially, but I got a pack, a three pack of multicolored underwear. And they were, they were cool, they were the 80s colors with like the baby blue and the maroon like uh, trim and one butt cheek was like yellow the other butt cheek was like green it was just it was really awesome to have a change in, in, in underwear not that anyone cared not that anyone would notice except I did and I thought I would have some fun with it I thought maybe you know I would switch out the underwear and wear the colored underwear on like Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays kind of thing and that's exactly what I did so went back to school after Christmas break and you know one day after school after going through gym class and, and being a little rug rat and running around with my friends at the playground I came home and I needed to pee real bad and I pulled down my pants and I pulled my my tiny nine-year-old penis out and looked at it and it had blue mold on it <laughs> So I remember I jumped into the shower and, and I, I cleaned myself and I, I washed all this what I thought was mold off my, my tiny penis and I kind of just kept it to myself. I didn't know how to tell my parents, hey, I think my penis is rotting all of a sudden and I was afraid that it could just potentially fall off my body. I didn't know, I was nine years old. So a couple of weeks later, uh, same kind of situation happened where I was in the backyard playing a pickup game of football with my friends and I came home to wash up before dinner and uh, I took my clothes off and I was gonna jump in the shower and I looked down at my tiny nine-year-old penis and again, there was like uh, green and blue mold on, on my penis and I couldn't figure out for the life of me what was going on. So I'm ready to confront my parents. Uh, it's taco night. Uh, my mom made a whole mess of tacos and we're ready to sit down at dinner. And I mustered up all the courage I had to bring this topic to hand and, and, and tell them what was going on with my tiny nine-year-old penis. Um, so middle of my stepdad, you know, taking a bite, a first bite of taco, I decided to step up and I stood up out of my chair and I said, I think my penis is molding and I'm afraid that soon my penis is going to rot off my body. And I remember my stepdad in like mid bite just staring at me with taco hanging out of his mouth like, did this just happen? And I sat there and, and I, I kind of shed a tear because it took a lot for me to say that, I was scared. And my mom said, what kind of underwear are you wearing? I said, well, I'm, I'm wearing the, the multicolored underwear that you got me for Christmas. And uh, she kind of took a step back for a second and collected her thoughts. And she said, we're going shopping tomorrow. And I asked why. And she said, well, it just dawned on me that I have not bought you a new pair of underwear in maybe the correct size in the past three years. I thought my penis was molding and going to fall off. It was truly horrifying. Turns out my mom just bought me the wrong size underwear. I still own them today, and I still have a small penis.